super middleweight titles, giving David Starry this most unexpected tilt at glory. They're in the ring. Let's get straight back to Glen and Ian. Well, you join us here in Magdeburg. David Starry looking relaxed. He's been very concentrated during a protracted build-up as the ring announcements go on here. He's long odds against to beat the champion Sven Otka, making his 18th defense of the IBF title here. And Starry must have been in the ring for something like 20 minutes already, I'd say, Glenn. Well, that's a big distraction on what a, a, a massive night for David Starry. And that just, you know, he's got to keep his concentration. That's so important. Yes, the 36-year-old Otka, who believes he may be the world number one at this weight, not Britain's Joe Calzaghi. Judge for yourselves. Has to beat Starry first. And he's in a town where they know him very well. He boxed here a lot as an amateur. And he boxes here in Magdeburg for the seventh time as a world champion. And Randy Newman has refereed him six times before. Could that be right, Glenn? <laughs> you wouldn't expect a referee to, to be in that often, but he's obviously pretty popular here as well. Seems too cosy for me. Remigio Ruggeri, aus Italian. Garcia Reyes very very Spanien. protracted preliminaries here including a rock Und group Hank who seemed to play their latest single before Otka ever made his entrance and while Starry was waiting I mean it made the Nassim Hamid Chris Eubank ring entrances look like Montella something from the village fate well they're really big occasions aren't they the fights in Germany and you know the people love it you can just tell how popular it is by the crowds Spanien. here by the way, all 8,000 tickets here went in three hours once they knew Otka was in town. He may be a technical type champion who doesn't have a big punch, but they absolutely love him here. And it's a massive task for David Starry. Okay, gentlemen, you're both familiar with the rules. Two things. Once you obey my commands, defend yourselves at all times. Have a good fight. Good luck. Randy Newman, who handled Mike Tyson's defense against Carl the Truth Williams for the heavyweight title and he was there the night you won your world title Glenn. That's exactly right yep 14 years ago Randy Newman was the third man on my big night. So on the day that Joe Calzaghi is given the MBE Sven Otka is in action in a reign that's lasted nearly five years now Otka 11 is his defenses have gone the full 12 round route. He's in the black trunks. Starry, who lost his last fight in South Africa, a shock defeat against a relative novice. What's his self belief like for this one? He can be fast, he can be flashy, and he can look very, very classy at British and Commonwealth level. But is he up to this? That's the big, big question here against one of the supreme ring technicians of world boxing at the moment. Well, I think this is all about temperament for Starry. He's got this chance. How much does he really want it? And can he you know, take this title away from Otka here in Germany? Starry with a long reach. Very proud of him. They are in Suffolk. And he stays there with his 74-year-old trainer Gordon Holmes who's there again tonight what a story it would be if they could take this title back to East Anglia after all the hiccups Starry's had along the way so often seeming to freeze on the big stage liked his attitude after the weigh-in yesterday Starry just had a bit of a devil in his eye for the first time this week he knows the criticism he gets for fluffing his lines when it matters most Reasonable start by him. Yes, he's using the jab to good effect, and he needs to do that. He needs to get himself into this fight, just to the, just get a little foothold in the fight, and then he can build on that. Does have the better power of the two, and probably a bit more speed as well. And I suppose there's just the hope after a long, long reign that maybe Otka could be getting for that time when he might be vulnerable at 36 years of age. You never know. Starry's established his left jab very, very well indeed. Starry's saying 
on the local radio here yesterday that he has so much respect for Otka. I hope he's not too respectful of him. Well, he knows the size of the job he's got here. So he really has to be oh, at his very, back, very, very best, Starry. Good job. There's a little clash of heads there, and Starry came away just dabbing his right eye. I can't see any blood. But he's made a very confident start. Starry here. He doesn't look as if he's overawed one bit by this. Well, he's doing the right thing. He's getting the centre of the ring, and he's also getting his jab out, just keeping Otka off balance. There are... Plenty of dangers here with head clashes. Starry won the first round, totally beyond dispute, in my view. Agree, Glenn? I thought it was a, it was a good start. He got the sound of the ring. Looks nice and relaxed. Don't let it behind the jab. Willie Vector, the trainer of Sven Otka, who was a really brilliant amateur. He boxed at three Olympics, won two European Championship gold, a world bronze in over 300 bouts. Originally based in Berlin, but living now in uh, Karlsruhe, a modest guy who says he doesn't believe in fast cars and big houses. I'm quite happy with my small two-door family saloon and my little home my beautiful children, he says. Well, he does seem to have his feet on the floor, but after 18 defences, I'm sure he can afford a few cars. Well, I think he can. He may be not telling us everything, I think. <laughs> they ought to be paying him well. He's filling the house every time. Second round here. I wonder whether Otka gets down to business a bit more in this round. He was quiet in that opening session. Three months ago, he beat the... Former WBA champion Byron Mitchell, who fights Joe Calzaghe in a fortnight's time in Cardiff. He also flattened Anthony Mundine, the well-regarded Australian, as if to counter those who say he has no power. That was a big knockout. But he has only stopped six out of 30, Otka. It's not the river puncher, is it? It's not the river puncher, but his ability is, is there to see on his record. He's been good name, tremendous amateur record. So, well, this is a tough job for David Starry. Kawasaki will be watching this at home, I know. All eyes wondering how Starry gets on. And congratulations, Joe, on that MBE if you are tuned in. Good start by Starry, who's just finding a few different angles. Every move by Okta is going to be cheered to the echo. I tell you something, if it does go to the decision, Starr is going to have to win this very, very big indeed, I feel. He is. He's going to have to be really dominant. He's going to have to tear the title away from Otka. Staying very, very busy with the jab. I know that was part of the plan. They're trying to break Okta's concentration. But Starr was saying, going into the fight, I don't have one definite plan. I want to be adaptable. He's too good for me to just go in with one fixed plan A. I think that probably makes good sense. Well, he started the right way with the jab, and Otka not getting out of the way of that jab. Otka needs a, a little more head movement. Well, do we have the makings of an upset here? Because Starry has started very well. I think Starry's got a cut. Yeah, I think that happened initially in the last round and it's beginning to open up. Stop punching, stop punching. Right, right, don't punch, step back. Very clean fight so far. Randy Newman not having to dive in at all, just barking out the odd instruction from afar. Former heavyweight Randy Newman, he actually fought Billy Aird. Sorry, just trying to get in range and settle down using that jab still quite well. I have to work on that cut with Starry. Nothing serious so far. Aims well. Nothing. Just, 
there is Gordon Holmes. Says he's never felt fitter at the age of 74. Okay, keep them double left jabs going. Crack that right hand over. Looking good, buddy. Looking good. He's a very, very likable man, is David Starr is. Some people say he might be a bit too nice. Well, that is a criticism that's always been against him, and that's probably because he's never really performed. He's always hasn't performed with that fire on the big occasion. And I think this is where he's got to try and silence the critics and really grit his teeth. Here's round three. Britain's David Starry in the silver trunks. With Jedi written on. He's a big Star Wars fan. I think I would suggest tonight he needs a bit more Darth Vader and a bit less Luke Skywalker. So the plan is to dominate behind this jab. Ock is trying to get to him on the inside. I'd just like to see Starry whip in some meteor shots as well. Otka's just starting to slip into gear a little bit, get busier in close. Well, it's been a pretty good start, Step this, back. by David Starry. I'm sure they took this fight, Otka's people. They looked at what happened to Starry in South Africa last time, beaten by Andre Tyser, losing his Commonwealth crown, and thought, yeah, this will do, nice soft defence. It's up to Starry to prove it isn't, that they've made an error. That's right, but before that, since the Kazati fight, Starry had won nine fights consecutively, all inside schedule, so he was on a bit of a good run right. until that last come. It's important for Starry not to poor with the jab, I think he has to snap it every time. He's cleverly switching the angle again there to leave with the right momentarily. Here go, break, step back. Break. But Ock was step one back. of these guys, isn't he, who seems to fiddle his way through it every time and impose himself and prevail. And you look at the people he's beaten, and it's a good list, isn't it? Two wins over Charles Brewer, although... Uh, they were both pretty disputed. Thomas Tate, Byron Mitchell, uh, Anthony Mundine, Silvio Branco, who beat Robin Reed, uh, Glenkoff Johnson. Can't argue with that, really, can you? No, you can't argue with his record. I think throughout his career, he's shown he's got a lot of talent. Sorry, making a miss well there, just slipping along the ropes and then coming back with a nice combination. That'll lift his confidence, I think, Starry, that. Very neat move. Starry was a precocious amateur. He was Suffolk's first ABA champion for nearly half a century. Just amusing Otka at times, I think, here. Right. Yes, I think at times he, Otka doesn't yeah, really know what, what's Three coming. Starry who lead with a right. He does a few different things. Certainly got some talent. Ah. Uh, Starry's using box of tricks tactics and uh, working a little bit for him. Here comes the fourth round on this Wilfried Sauerland promotion at Magdeburg, part of the old East Germany. And famous for the great scientist Otto von Goerdeke. But you knew that already, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I knew I'd get him in somewhere. <laughs> this is round four. IBF and WBA super middleweight titles on the line here. Big division this for Germany because they've got the current WBC champion Marcus Bayer as well and the European champion Danilo Hausler who beat Glenn Catley. But it's been a bit of a stellar division for Britain too in recent times. Heads dangerously close together. He's got that problem by the right eye, Starry. It looks relaxed in there to me. He does look relaxed. He looks like he's worked hard. His reflexes are good. Coming in with a nice quick shot. And I think he's taking Otka by surprise a little bit here. Otka trying to outwork him on the inside, but this time Starry foils him by just holding a little. At the moment, 
surprisingly, he's just not letting the German get into his rhythm. But there's a long way to go yet. That was better from Otka there. And a sharp little left hook too from Otka. This fellow has so much more experience at the top level. But he really is a scientist of a fighter, Otka. Star is using his reach advantage here. He's really making it play, isn't he? He's using everything he's got, really. Right, got up, good, up. good skills, made a lot of movement side to side, and then the fast hands, you know, coming from the angles. Again, the head seemed to clash on the inside. They're getting quite excited in the uh, Starry corner. Dean Powell is with the team right, on his right, feet, right, urging right, Starry on, and he's staying busy, busy, busy so far. Break, break. Well, I think they've got to be pretty pleased with this work in that starry corner. It's a good left hand again, though, from Otka. He's landed a couple of those in this round. Little left hooks. It just could be that Starry will not be able to rip this title away with a jab alone. Yes, you just feel he'll need a bit more than that as these rounds go on. Break, break, don't punch. Step back. Back. He's really got to be in the position where he gives the judges no option but to give him the rounds. Ah. Well, it's encouraging for David Starry so far, but Ocker did get in with a couple of quite meaty looking left hooks must, in that also, last round. When he's uh, up things, when he's up things, he must be against him. But Ocker not David getting Zin, through with the knock. He's getting the odd single also, shot on the end, but he's not getting through with a great deal. And I think that is encouraging for David Starry. Come back to that old argument, though. How much credence, how much authority are they giving the judges? for the jab well you know, they've got to be giving it giving it some because he's certainly out jabbing Otka an awful lot there's nothing in the Queensbury rules that says the jab doesn't count is there most definitely not it's all about scoring punches and that's what Story's doing he's looking to inflict the first ever defeat on Sven Otka tonight Otka who started with the bookmakers a 14 to 1 on favorite to win this fight Snap the jab there, shouting at Starry from his corner. Starry, who came apart against Dean Francis early in his career in his first major showpiece fight. And then he was in a terrible fight with Joe Calzaghi, lost it on points. And uh, that third defeat against Andre Tysa last time. You saw the, the left hook from Otka again starting to find some range for that punch. I wonder whether Starry might start to let some heavier shots go. Of his 31 wins, 24 have come inside the distance. He's often shot at British and Commonwealth level. He's falling short in this round with his punches, Starry. to keep up the concentration and the momentum never switching off very important to start to stay focused he's allowing Otka in this round just to be busier than him yeah just getting a little closer Otka here and there. But to be honest with you, the German's not impressing me here, not at all. No, he's not, but he's getting a little bit busier, isn't he? I suppose the time to judge him's at the end of it, isn't it? Good shot from Starry. the 
sort of fighter, Oscar, that's never impressive in any particular thing. He just does a, a good all-round job. Yeah, a few people have said, yeah, yeah, I know he keeps winning, but he's dull and he always gets home advantage, and that's why he stayed reign and been in charge of this division so long with the IBF. He's definitely, he's made Story miss more in this round. Used a little bit lateral movement, Otka. Touch gloves at the end of the round. Sixth round coming up at this atmospheric Berderlander Halle in Magdeburg. Transformed city since the days when it was under communist control behind the Iron Curtain some uh, 14 years ago. Yes, it really is good to see this sort of support in boxing. Well, apparently this was a bit of a hotbed under the old East German amateur system. A lot of the big internationals went on here. So it is a boxing city, all right. Just starting to let the work rate drop a little, Starry. German fans, they're not that noisy, that raucous. I think they're a little bit worried by what they've seen so far. Well, I think they, they realise that he is having a success as a story. And Otka not getting it all his own way. Frank, stop punching, step back. Chitting the gloves quite a bit now, Starry, with some of these punches. Quite clever and cute defensively, Otki. You only got to look at his face. 36 years old, all those fights as an amateur and pro. There's hardly a mark on him. Be first, they're shouting at Starry. Trying to drive him forward. But the problem for Starry, he's he's missing more now. And there was a good left hook on the inside from Otka. That was a clever shot. Give him an opportunity, he'll take it. Sometimes Starry's defence has looked a bit loose and leaky in his career, often with his gloves dangling by his side. All right, all right. Get back. Starry has to have the mentality here that an honourable defeat isn't enough. That's right. Just at this moment, he just seems to be in the comfort zone and you want to see more from him. Little sharp right on the inside from Otka that time as well. Another well-picked punch from this long-reigning champion who's just beginning to impose himself, you feel now, after Starry's bright start. He's jabbed well, Starry, but there's not been much more than a jab. No, in the, the last few rounds, he's fallen short with that jab. You know, he's just flicking out the right hand. You want to see some authority in these punches. He's got to start meaning it. And again, made to pay. Counter on the inside from Otka. So this is where Otka's just right, slipping inside and getting the punches on and picking up the rounds now. Well, I gave Starry the first three and I've given Otka the last three. Complaining a little in the corner about use of the head from Oscar, and he says he's holding a bit. I don't know, Starry doesn't look quite as bullish, does he now? Well, I think we're into a fascinating phase of the fight now for Starry. Does he really believe he can do this? It's getting harder for him. And he looked quite tired, I thought, in the corner there between the rounds. 
Well, this is the, the stage of the fight where Story just seems to lose self-belief. And he's a different fighter when that starts creeping in. That's a jabbing from Starry at the start of this round. Break, break, break. Don't find step back. Starry may have to see his way through to going to a very painful place. Lay it on the line. Give it everything. He says that he's been boxing since he was a 10-year-old boy at Needham Market. The Hursley and Carriage Club. And this is the night for him. Well, is it? He has to keep believing it might be. Bit better with the jab from Starry. Very important that he starts stepping in with that jab. That'll just upset the rhythm of Otka. It's still there for Starry. Can't be matching this. Even the referee, Randy Newman, said it was a close fight. Well, I've got it at the halfway stage. I've got this fight dead level. This is better from Starry in this round. He's got back working with a bit more snap behind that jab. And as you said, Glenn, he's meaning it more again. There's more pep about him suddenly. Well, he's already sure that he can't take this fight away from Otka. Make it his sort of fight. Early on, that was with the jab. Again, the head's very, very close together. There could be a nasty cut that carries on like that. Break, break, break. One punch, one punch. Certainly no question of Starry falling apart or looking phased. And no, there hasn't been the stage fright this time. He's fighting his fight. Seemed to be just going to sleep on the job a little the last couple of rounds, but he's picked it up again in this one. Now Otka raises the tempo. Well, he's trying to keep centre ring. Put Opka on the back foot. That's what he needs to do. Well, okay from Starry. They really do stage the promotions quite stylishly here. Big pictures of Opka hanging from the ceiling. Rock bands and uh, a lot of women in the crowd, I've noticed as well. Well, it is much more of a family occasion. Uh, boxing in Germany but it's a very very hard place to come for an away fighter believe me just hit the gloves with those jabs that time Starry break break step back don't punch better with the jab by Starry. Again, he's got Otka on the back foot. Break, break. Then you'd have to say, on what you're watching here, Sven Otka is not as good as Joe Calzaghe. No, he's not. I'd never really believed that he was. Calzaghe, a lot more... For me, I think he's been, he's been handled very well, Otka. It'd be nice if they met somewhere sometime soon, wouldn't it? It certainly would. I know there's some talk in the Otka camp of maybe they'd like to fight Kazaki to fight after next. Got a bit rough on the inside. Otka wasn't happy. Now get on with it. The two fighters, there was no uh, phony ballyhoo ahead of the fight. It seemed to go on pretty well, but neither of them are that kind of individual a lot good just a good draw seems a, a nice guy as the story break on point step back both of them family men story who still has his job as a retained fireman 
in Suffolk. Break, break, break. After one of his fights, he had to go home and put out fires till six o'clock in the morning. Well, we need to see a bit of fire from Story tonight. Been quite a clever performance by Starry this. So far, he's thought about this. And I think he's doing a pretty good job in there. He's caught by a right hand. And that might have been as heavy as anything that's landed. But he's not a big puncher, Otka. Although, don't tell Anthony Mundine of Australia that. Well, that was a good sharp shot from Otka. Just a bit busier in this round. But not a lot in this. Not if it's being scored fairly, and we hope it is. I think Otka won that round. Big applause from the crowd who are enjoying it. They really do. They like the technical displays. They, you know, they know their stuff. Well, remember, for years and years, there was no professional boxing in this part of Germany when it was under the uh, when it was part of East Germany. It, 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 but they, what amateur stars they had. That's right. That's exactly right. So they're, they're used to seeing the skills in the game. Yeah. Otka, who's been boxing since he was 15, he was a hyperactive kid who got into fights at school and swapped football for boxing. He used to work in the office of Mercedes Benz. Uh, he probably can afford one now. <laughs> I think he should. I think he can afford a few. But he hasn't got one. He likes his little two door car, apparently. This is round nine. Otka, remember Black Trunks, the. 36-year-old German, Starry, who was 29 three days ago. And you're seeing a level fight at the moment, I think, Glenn, aren't you? I am. I've got a level at this stage. Just you know, one, go one with then the other throughout. But Starry seems to have a good run, then shuts off. I think he's built a platform here, David Starry. I think now what he has to do is go about well, trying to close back. the show over the last few rounds. Well, I think he needs to, to lift it quite a bit. We'll really grit his teeth and we'll show some character in there. But he is making Otka look desperately ordinary. Don't you think? He is. I, you know, he, I see a couple of Otka fights has never really looked that special. You know, he doesn't do any one particular thing that well. Except win. Which seems to be enough. See if these salt shots inside that the judges will be looking at. Just a bit busier. Again, the left jab at Starry through the middle. Otka occasionally looking just a little troubled by some of those. Trying to work angles for his left hooks on the inside. Otka just darting in, left hand and then out. Doubling up with the jab. Again, the switch hitting from Starry, who's been quite clever, but we haven't really seen him land with what you call solid heavy shots. Not many, anyway, have we? No, we haven't. And it's just those cuffing short shots inside from Otka that are building up the points. Otka's used a lot of movement in this round and he's made story miss with almost every punch that's good right down cleverly worked that by Sven Otka and Starry was outboxed in that round I think
They've been there before, haven't they, in fights like this? Oh, they have, yep, many times. He goes the distance most of his fights, only six kills in 30 fights, so they're well used to this. Yeah, 11 of the 18 title defences have gone the full 12 rounds. But on, this is round 10, three to go. Starry needs three big rounds. And let's face it, if it is close, he's not going to get it. No, I think you know he, he would have to know that the camp would have to know that it takes a lot more to get a title abroad. Right to back. Puts a lot of pressure on Starry, of course, to do it in this way, particularly as he had right only a three and a half week preparation for this. Did a lot of sparring with Gary Logan, who gave him some useful workouts. But you'd want a bit more than three and a half weeks, ideally, wouldn't you? You would do. You want a proper training camp, proper preparation. But also, he often you know, doesn't travel very much. Likes to stay you know, at home and really he needs to be in tougher gyms. We've always said that. Yeah. Maybe he should have done a bit of sparring in America somewhere along the way. But there's certainly something to work with, with Starry. I think he's gone into this thinking, yeah, it is a 12-round fight. I'm not going to stop him. I'm going to try to outbox him. And at times, he definitely has done that. Particularly early on in the fight, when Otka was doing very little. Right, step back. Otka said something to Starry on the inside there. For me, this is just round after round. He's just getting hustled out of it again. Break, step back. These are crucial times. The championship rounds, the late rounds. Starry just looking a little tired and lacking zest and zip in his work at the moment. Otka looks fresher, doesn't he? He does. A lot more movement complaint of a clash of heads, Otka. It's a wonder there haven't been more, actually. The way the two uh, styles have gelled, or haven't, as the case may be. Chess match of a fight, we thought it would be. Break, break, don't pine, step back. Break, 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 break don't pine. I think he's got a lump on his head. Come on, with that clash of heads, Odka. Try to get a closer look at that. Again, they touch gloves, almost as if they're in a sparring session. He's got a I don't know, uh, call me old-fashioned. I, I don't really like to see that with them touching gloves at the end of every round. It, it looks like a gym session. It, it does. Uh, it, that's very typical of story. I think he needs to do more. You just see the, the clash of heads, yeah. the lump, which has come up Ooh, quite severely. Come up like a, a golf ball almost, doesn't it? So you can hardly watch. I, I suppose that's Sven Otka's wife we're looking at at ringside there. I think she just wants the fight to be over. And she, she, goes, she will stand through a lot of these long decisions. Oh, they really did bang together the heads there. Straight away, there was the swelling. Oh, please, no. <laughs> Think Hock is winning this now, don't you? Yes, I've got him two points ahead. Just, just hustling him out of it, just doing that bit more. Just, you know, he's educated. Nothing fancy about Hock's work. He just, just busier inside. I bet you they wouldn't take a fight with Joe Calzaghi in Britain. And I bet you Calzaghi wouldn't take a fight with Sven Otka in Germany. Yeah, that would probably be... That would probably be right. I think he would be right, too. He's gone on the run around. Otka moving about. A 
Starry done enough? Should he be doing a bit more now in these closing rounds? I think he should. I think he had to really just walk through walls a little. He should, be doing, he should be doing a lot more. This is a world title fight. It's a big event. He's in with a light puncher. Good champion, but a light puncher. You know, you've got to go through and just, you know, really try and rip up trees. Dean Powell on his feet in Starry's corner, trying to urge him forward. I think they want more devil from Starry at this point. He's got to go on the rampage a bit, take some risk. Otka looks settled into just trying to, to outbox Starry here, in and out, shot here, shot there, not get hit. He's got to let the leather flow, I think, Starry now. Not be too respectful. Otherwise, I'm afraid people are going to say he just did not do enough to take the title away. Desperately trying to lift Starry from his corner now. But there's something stopping him. There is. It really is. It's, a, it's, it's like a passionless performance. He just can't go grip the teeth, get the drive, let the let the arms go. You've just got to want it that bit more. The jab up to with the jab that time. He's just been cleverly worked out of it, almost eased out of the fight, Starry here, in a disappointing way now. It looked quite good for him, I thought, early on. I thought he built a real platform early on, but somehow, in the second half of the fight, it hasn't quite been there. First round, right? First round. First round. All right, we've got to the point here What's in the Berda Land where really, Starry's going to really gonna need a knockout. He might have needed that at the beginning, by the way. Last round coming up. Well, I'm sure they're aware of that in the corner. They should be. David, listen, this is the last round. Let him run away. He's not scoring any fucking points, and you're the governor. You're impressing the judges with that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just don't run into a silly cat. Just give it all now. Dave, okay. Dave, this is the most important three minutes in your life, Dave, so you get well, I think Gordon Holmes in the corner there is giving Starry the impression he's winning the fight. Well, he was given the impression that he didn't have to chase him, which for me is completely wrong. It was the, the wrong advice that he, he should have been given at this fight. Not to take it easy and wait for him. He's got to go there and get it. Last round. Maybe we are guilty when we score these rounds in fights like this where the British fighters are away from home in the other fellas' backyard. You, you tend to kind of make allowances and score rounds possibly the way the judges would see them, or you think the judges would see them. I think there's a bit of that. I think if this was in Britain, you'd be saying this is pretty close, wouldn't you? Well, um, there's an argument there, you know, I don't think I would be saying that. I think Story just has, he just lacked something. Your Otka is the champion, doesn't matter yeah. where the fight's at. But, but how he's much has Otka really done here, Glenn? How much has he really done? Are you, are you talking about his reputation? What has he done here tonight? Well, I just think he's been busier. I don't think it's been a tremendous performance. I don't think you've really oh, seen over the many, whole 12 rounds. That many tremendous performances from Otka. But what has Starry done? I think it's a close fight. Starry does need to show some more devil because he should know that he won't win a close fight. And that's not cynicism, it's realism from covering these fights away from home over the years. He's a hard fighter to, to get to and to nail. Well, that's where his ability is, isn't it? You know, he can go in and out of range. You, you see his experience, then uses the jab, and then off to one side again. It's been a decent performance from Starry as far as goes. He's tried to out-jab. 
change the angles like that on Opka. And at times, he has been used and befuddled, but there just had to be another layer, another layer of aggression, I think, anyway. But let's see what happens. See, I think Opka knows, doesn't he? He knows that his title isn't going to be taken away from him in, in anything like a close fight. He gets in with a nice, sharp-looking right hand there. He's done some clever work here and there on the inside, Opka, but only here and there. I mean, he's not showing a lot of devil either, is he? No, he's not, but then he never does. So he's good at winning fights, six kill wins, so he doesn't go for that. In, in Germany, at home, yeah. said all that, Joe Calzaghi very rarely ventures from Britain, does he? Exactly. Right. It's over. A nasty bump for Sven Opka. Some cute boxing, some clever thinking from David Starry, but it would be a surprise if he had done enough to take the title away. My view, and Glenn's too, is not quite enough. Meine Damen und Herren, das Punkturteil. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecards. <laughs> Judge Garcia Reyes of Spain has it 115 to 113. 115 to 113. Remigio Ruggeri aus Italien hat den Kampf gesehen 116 zu 112. 116 zu 112. And Hank Myers aus den Niederlanden 116 zu 113. 116 zu 113. A unanimous decision and still the double world champion is Sven Otke. Otke wins it, although one of the judges thought there was only two points in it. The others by four points and by three. Entirely predictable. Otke keeps the title. Starry, good effort as far as it went. Needed a bit more devil. So another party in Germany for Otka, and somehow you felt it always might end up like that. We'll hear from David Starry when we come back. Nicky and Barry give us their verdict on what we've seen there. And don't forget, we'll also hear from Joe Calzaghe. But frustration all over again, I'm afraid, for Starry. Maybe he'll always ask himself why he just couldn't quite impose himself.